So in school, we use the drawer system for our teacher time. So students are used to using this structure to complete work. And during this time, we allow verbal interactions or some teaching to go on. So the clear bins that we set up, that's for independent work. And during that time, you should not be providing any verbal interaction with your students. But during teaching time, that's when we can kind of interact or provide verbal prompts or um, kind of engage because we're teaching a new skill. So to set this one up, there'll be the three drawers and then we just kind of store the schedule inside just so that we never lose it. Um, and the, the icon should be set up in the order of the drawers. So they're always gonna be going from top to bottom when they complete the system. So you're gonna set this up before your student comes over to complete the task. So the drawers are a good place to put any kind of tracing activity, coloring, bingo dotting, anything with stickers. And then when you set that up, you're gonna put the paper in the drawer and you put the marker or the glue stick or the crayon or whatever you want them to use inside the drawer with the paper. And then you can, this is also good for file folder activities, um, tracing, anything obviously that's gonna fit inside here. These little clear ones, if that's a skill that they haven't mastered yet, those can go in there as well. Um, so your student would come over. Um, everybody should have a few icons. I know that they're probably not exact for what you have at home, but maybe they're gonna go outside after they do their work, or maybe they're gonna go play, or maybe they're gonna use the iPad or have a snack. So whatever it is that they're working for, you would put that reinforcer right here at the end of their schedule. Um, so when they come over, they would take the first icon on the left, match it, and then they should, I mean, it's been a month since we've been in school, but everyone should be able to take their work out, take their marker out, and then they complete their work. You can talk to them. You can say, remember to write your name. You can give them a little help if they need some help with that. And then when they're done with it, instead of using the done bin, they actually put it back into the drawer before they move on to the next task. And then they would take that one out, complete the work, put it back in, so on until they get to their reinforcer.